pregnancy should be one of the happiest times in a woman's life, but it has turned into the worst time for many women in our community. More women are incarcerated than ever before. Many of them are pregnant. Three to four percent of them are expectant mothers. News 5 wanted to talk to pregnant women inside Metro Jail. As News 5's Devin Walsh tells us, there isn't a maternity ward, and these women are treated like any other inmate. No lullabies, no cribs, just a cold jail cell. Pregnant inmates like Amber Hardin go into the rowdy general jail population. I'm really upset, honestly, because um, this isn't a very good experience for my first child. She's five and a half months pregnant and says expectant moms shouldn't be here. I don't think they should be in jail personally because they don't get the proper care, exercise. This is my little girl, my first little girl. April Esfeller is pregnant with her fourth child, but she's in the barracks. She's blowing bubbles. An upgrade for good behavior. She's been in jail before. I found out today I was pregnant. Same day I failed a drug test. Because she tested positive for drugs, she says a judge is keeping her here to keep her from taking more drugs and endangering her baby. If you do something wrong, you're supposed to go to jail and do you know what I mean? Being pregnant or not. Warden Trey Oliver. I just can't imagine uh, being pregnant and being back there. Says there are usually about a dozen pregnant inmates at any time. <laughs> You're supposed to play music and read books to you, baby. But back there, all it is is cursing, fighting, fussing, uh, jealousy, you, you name it. Pregnant inmates do receive prenatal care while they're here. But this is a busy place, and they're not getting medical attention for every little ache and pain that they might have. According to a study from the National Women's Law Center, Alabama and Mississippi received an F for the amount of prenatal care women in jail receive. The state of Florida got a C. Open the door. Corrections officer Veronica Wilcox says pregnant women are treated just like everyone else. Bringing a child in the world, and what are they going to tell that child once the child is born? That they was incarcerated when they was carrying it. News 5 just learned Amber Harden was released from jail before her baby was born. Oh, this will be it. This will definitely be it. Definitely. I, I will not be back because I will be a good example for my child. April S. Feller will have her little girl, then return to jail. I want to be able to go home with my baby. I understand I have to do my time, but I want to be able to go home with my baby. S. Feller's baby will go home with her husband, but if an inmate doesn't have family to take the child, then the child will be placed in foster care when the mom goes back to jail. Now, we have a lot more information on how different states treat pregnant women in jail or prison. That's on our website, WKRG.com. Devin Walsh, News 5.